Hey, what's up guys? This is Neil Reyes, and I want to welcome you to today's episode of Champions Minute. Today I'm coming to you from the Venetian Hotel at Las Vegas, Nevada, and today we're going to be speaking about the unpardonable sin. Get ready. Drop to so today I'm traveling and I'm actually in Las Vegas, Nevada today. I know what some of you are thinking. Brother Neil, did you say Las Vegas? I said Las Vegas. But you're a pastor. I know, right? <laughs> oh guys, I'm just joking, but I'm actually here for a technology event. And I know we're shooting outside of our studio today, but I thought it'd actually be cool to shoot on the road and actually give some remote footage. So I just wanted to go ahead and come to you guys today and go ahead and share some video with you. Today's topic that we're actually speaking about is titled The Unpardonable Sin. Now I know some of you might be thinking, man, you're in Vegas and you're talking about the unpardonable sin, but we actually didn't plan it like that. You know, if you don't know about our ministry as far as we, how we come up with our teachings, we actually uh, pray about our stuff and we have our teachings lined up weeks and sometimes months in advance before we ever even go to record them. That's what our schedule's like. It's very rare that we change that schedule. It's something that the Lord's given us and that we prayed about. And as we pray about that, this is something that he's given us divine instruction for. Now, when he showed us that we were going to be talking about the unpardonable sin, I didn't know that we were going to be in Las Vegas, but it's kind of fitting that we're talking about that while we're here. So as we talk about that, let's go ahead and discover exactly what that is. So as we talk about the unpardonable sin, one of the things that the church has been taught or that people within the church have heard is that there is an unpardonable sin. Now, that kind of clashes with what we hear about Jesus because people then ask, what is the unpardonable sin? What is the sin that is so evil and vile in God's sight that he will spew you out of his mouth or that he will not accept you into his kingdom? What is that sin? Well, first of all, I want to share a couple things. When we talk about sin, there's no such thing as a big sin and there's no such thing as a little sin. In God's eyes and in his standard, sin is sin. All sin is designed to separate you from the Father. That's exactly what sin is. In fact, when we talk about sin nature, sin nature is simply that. Any type of sin is designed to separate you from the Father and from His love. But is there an unpardonable sin? Is there a type of sin that is so evil and so bad in God's sight that if you commit it, you will no longer be allowed to enter into heaven even if you ask for forgiveness? Well, today we're going to cover that, and as we do, we're going to go into some scripture right away. I want to read you a scripture, and this is actually going to be out of 1 John chapter 1, verses 6 through 10. Again, we're going to be covering 1 John chapter 1, and we're going to start verses 6 through 10. Ready? Let's read. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Now I want to go back to verse 9 and highlight something there. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So which is it exactly? Is there such a thing as an unpardonable sin? Because this verse in scripture right here clarifies that if we ask him for forgiveness, he is faithful to forgive us through the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, which cleanses us. But is there such a thing as an act as an unpardonable sin? Well, I'm going to take you to another verse, and this verse actually is labeled in the Bible, depending what version you have, as the unpardonable sin. This is out of Mark chapter 3, verses 28 through 29. So Mark chapter 3, verses 28 through 29. Let's read. Assuredly, I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the sons of men, and whatever blasphemies they utter. But he who blasphemies against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation. I'm going to read that once more. That's Mark chapter 3, verses 28 through 29. Assuredly, I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the sons of men, and whatever blasphemies they may utter. 
but he who blasphemies against the Holy Spirit has never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation. Now, when we turn around and we look at that, that is actually Jesus talking. It's in the Gospel of Mark, and he's actually speaking. You know, it's in red words in most Bibles, and red words always win. So if he's talking about that, what exactly does it mean? But what it's speaking about is this. When he's talking about the unpardonable sin, what he is actually speaking of is when you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, that is simply this. We will all make mistakes and sin in life, but there are different types of sin. Now in God's eyes, they're all the same. Sin is sin, it's separation consequence from Christ, but sin is sin, and here's the difference. There are some types of sins that you will make that are mistakes that you simply made. Maybe you told a lie, uh, maybe you wronged somebody, and you maybe necessarily weren't thinking about it at the time. You repent and you receive your forgiveness. But is there such a thing as an act that is unforgivable? Is there a sin that is so vile and so evil that no matter what you do, it is unforgivable? I will tell you that there is not a sin that God will not cover you from with His blood of His Son, Jesus Christ. However, it is important for you to understand this. There is a sin that is considered unpardonable to God. It is a blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, and here's what it is. It's when, as a believer, you know in your heart that to do something is wrong and would be a sin and would separate you from the Lord but you rebel and you do it anyways and then fail to repent of it. You know, sometimes people have pride deeply rooted within their lives and as they do, sometimes it's very difficult for them to accept that they've made mistakes within life. The unpardonable sin is any sin that you know in your heart before committing that you know it is wrong and you do it anyways out of a spirit of rebellion. You may not recognize or know you're operating rebellion, but that is what Christ calls it. It's a spirit of rebellion. And as you commit the sin that you knew beforehand that you should not do and do it anyways, what makes it a unpardonable sin is not even the fact that you did it knowing it was wrong ahead of time, but is knowing that it was wrong ahead of time and then refusing to ask for forgiveness. That is what the unpardonable sin is. You know, in life, we all make choices in life. And sometimes our choices in life lead to good places and sometimes they lead to bad places. But if there is sin that is unresolved within your life, it could be that that is an unpardonable sin because you have failed to repent for it and give it over to God. You know, I remember listening to a teaching one time by Taffy Dollar, Crepo Dollar's wife, and as she was speaking, one of the things she talked about, and it had really spoke to me and has always been a guiding post within my spiritual walk, she was talking about the difference between conviction and condemnation. She was stating that conviction is always of the Lord, but condemnation is always of the enemy. The difference of that is also this. Conviction will always occur within your life before the act of sin. But condemnation will always appear in your life after the sin, and it oftentimes appear as heavy guilt or remorse over what you've done. It is a type of shame that tries to come on your life, and it is from the enemy. Remember, conviction is of the Lord and comes before the act of sin, but condemnation comes after the sin and is of the enemy. And as he brings that on you, he will try to make you uh, receive his shame. And as he does, it can lead to some dark spots. Guys, as always, I want to thank you for taking the time to stop by and grow with us today. As always, we want to invite you to swing by our website at neilrays.com where you can find all of our teaching resources available to stream at no charge 24 hours a day. In addition to that, we invite you to connect with us on our social media. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter at Neil Reyes. Guys, as always, we want to remind you that Jesus is Lord and He loves you, and so do we. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Drop down.